Good morning, everybody. It is 6.40. Monday morning. I mean, really. I, I could not find my words this morning, you guys. I was filming my uh, video for tomorrow, and... Where's the switch? And um, I just... <laughs> Oh boy, there, there's a lot of me laughing at myself in that video, I think, because I just couldn't get it together. So, I'm turning on all these lights to show you like the most boring outfit of the day known to man. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm wearing a sweater and jeans. Um, whoops, let me flip this around so that it is. I kind of wanted this necklace to be the star of the show. And this is an Alexis Batar necklace. I've kind of really fallen in love with his stuff. And this was a gift, actually, from Michael. And I, I, I talked about it in my favorites. But So I'm just wearing this long sweater. Sometimes I wear this sweater with leggings, but it's just Ralph Lauren from TJ Maxx and jeans. And then these are the... I think it's Bolo, B-O-L-O brand. They're kind of the like bikery ones. <laughs> Those are Bob's slippers <laughs> that he got for Christmas. He loves them by the way. That's so really like the most part. And then these earrings are like my um, go-to. I have a pair of silver and a pair in gold. They're from Leah Sophia. I've had them forever. And if I don't know what I'm going to wear and I want something to not detract like from my necklace, then that's what I wear. So all right, let's see. Today I have choir tonight. Next week we don't have choir for some reason, but so I have choir tonight. Um, and that's probably the most exciting thing I have all day long, aside from work, of course. I'm about to make um, protein shake for breakfast. Oh, this is, I don't want chocolate. I want vanilla because I'm going to put mango in it. I prefer mango when I'm um, what I'm going to, I do you see my problem here? Whew. I'm going, I prefer vanilla, but I'm going to use mango. And then I always put this, I need to order some more of this because I'm almost out the Justin's, um, almond butter. And I say order. Most of you are like, why don't you just go to the store and buy it? Oh, because I can't. They do not carry it anywhere around me. And I even looked in Green Bay just at one store, not at all the stores. I'm sure it's at some store in Green Bay or Appleton, but that's an hour away. And I'm Amazon Prime, so I'll just order it and have it delivered for free instead of traipsing around trying to find it. Anyway, so I'm going to make a protein shake, pack up a few things for lunch, and yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on today. Most boring check-in of life. It's still Monday. I was about to walk out the door, and I just wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys will be able to see I just think that the sun rise over those trees is always so pretty and you know against the white of the snow I don't know I just think it's really pretty hmm <laughs> so I decided I would just grab out the camera one more time and show you guys as I'm about to walk out it's I believe it's supposed to be cold today I didn't even look at the temperature I just remembered what they said yesterday and I'm all bundled up and off if I, off I go but I think we're looking at single digits today so anyway um yeah I just thought I would share See if we can see it out the store too. Yeah, just really, really pretty. So anyway, 7.05, I'm headed to work. Good morning, everybody. It is, I was trying to think what I was doing there. Um, what is today? It is Tuesday, only Tuesday. Job of Tuesday. <laughs> and I am just packing up my Packing up myself here for lunch. I'm trying to remember what kind of protein bar I had yesterday. I only have two flavors right now. So, you know, I try to vary them. Oh, yeah. And I didn't, I haven't made any of my applesauce oatmeal because I have some oatmeal here that I bought for my nephews when they were here and then they didn't eat it. I, you know, do you guys do that when you're in nieces, nephews, or like if you, if your kids come home or whatever? For the weekend and um you buy way too much stuff and then they leave and you're like what am i gonna do with all this stuff so i bought this because my one nephew the um the older of the two he really likes oatmeal like as a snack so i bought this he didn't eat any of them they were here for like two days i mean i'm not sure exactly what. the other thing he wanted get this 
he wanted, let me find this because it hasn't been touched since he left. Um, Jif whips, whipped peanut butter and chocolate. I mean, I like peanut butter and chocolate, but I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, he eats that on raisin bread. What is that? <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. And let's see, he is, he was born in September of 2011, or 2001, excuse me. So he's 13. Yeah, 13, he turns four. Oh, I can't even believe that. Anyway, he's a growing boy, and so he, he did eat a good amount of that and bread while he was here, but the point of this ramble is that I need to take some of the, I'm going to take this oatmeal to work and kind of work my way through it. I like low sugar oatmeal. I don't like this, so I don't know. I don't, I, uh, anyway. How about we go take a look at map for the day while I ramble about things. Um, okay, so today, this eye makeup look, by the way, is look three in four looks, one palette with the rock, the Lorac Gold. So you guys will see that. You actually already have seen it. It was on Thursday. Uh, if you watch that channel, <laughs> that is. And this, by the way, I think I've told you guys before, this is second day hair. So I take like a curling iron that's like a one and a quarter inch and just kind of put it through my hair kind of loosely and then shake it all out and this is what I get. So outfit today, I am wearing those sage jeans from Not Your Daughter's Jeans. And these are the, I can see my tank top. Do you ever get that way? <laughs> my tank top's not, not all tucked in nicely. Anyway, <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days. So these, um, I think they're the Maryland straight or something like that. Oh, Anyway, the sweater is from Lane Bryant. I like it because it has the cute little buttons on one side. And necklace is still in dot. And then these earrings I got at um, Charming Charlie. I showed you guys that. I just love the, I think they're kind of like dainty yet statement-y all at the same time. Okay, so let's turn off some lights while I do. So today I actually am skipping my lunch. It's a good thing I ran errands on my lunch yesterday because, oops, I'm skipping my lunch today because I need to leave early because my new CPAP came in. Yay about that. I mean, you guys should see how I have mine all like rigged up right now because it's so old. I'm really excited to get a new one of those. And also the one that I currently have you can't clean out the reservoir that holds the water. So no matter what you do, and I've done everything I can do to keep it as clean as I can, you just can't, like I can't get in there and scrub it myself like with my hands. And the newer ones, to my understanding, because Bob, who also has sleep apnea, he has, can you tell I've been running around? Let's just take a moment. He has a newer one and his can open up and we can, you know, you can like scrub in there. But anyway. All right, I'm going to pack myself up. It is seven o'clock and I'm going to head off to work. Well, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. You know what day it is? Oh, that commercial cracks me up. Um, happy hump day. And I just finished shooting um, my last look and then the review of the Lorac Gold, Lorac Unzipped Gold. So I'm going to show you quick outfit of the day. This sweater I got, I believe, my necklace is all tangled up here. I believe I got this this um, sweater, we call this a sweater, at Lane Bryant. And these are the boot cut, Barba boot cut, not your daughter's jeans. Um, in the dark wash, yeah, they're the boot cut, because they're, see how they're all like ginormous down there? I haven't put shoes on yet, as you can see. This necklace is still in dot. And earrings are Kendra Scott. I think that's everything. I think. And <laughs> I am, let me just go turn this off. I have to figure out what shoes I'm going to wear today. Um, it's one of those days where I want to be warm and comfy. I think it's supposed to be, um, I don't know, 20 below today or something. <laughs> something like that. So I actually, oops. It was thinking about putting a jacket over the top of this. Let's just try that, shall we? So I'm trying to decide if I should wear this one or if I should wear my kind of cognac colored one. I can't decide. Or nothing. <laughs> and just turn my heater on. Okay, so do you guys use... I need to take this off while I think about this. Do 
do you guys use um, heaters in your office if you are if you work in an office? Um, in my office, I have a window, which is delightful. I am so not complaining. Happy to have a window, but it's so cold. <laughs> it makes my office really cold. So um, I I run this heater. Let me put this down so I can talk to you. I run this heater. Um, you know, one of those little kind of space heater thingies. And what it, it dries me out, like it dries out my, I'm trying to grab my shirt while I put my sleeve, while I put it in here. Oh, this is way better. Um, it dries out my skin, like my face. My, I just can feel it sucking the moisture out of my skin. All right, I think we're going to wear this because added warmth, it looks nice. Looks way better than the black, I think, so. All right, put some boots on and go edit my video. Oh, by the way, for those of you that are wondering, um, I will be wearing a jacket over this. I don't just wear this when it's 20 below zero. I think it's actually 8 below zero with the wind chill 20 below or something like that. Something ridiculous. I don't even know. And I'm drinking cold coffee. I also want to tell you guys, my footage is still uploading, um, that I got my new... Um, CPAP machine yesterday and it was so much better. Oh, I gotta get out my protein shake stuff. It was so much better. Like, so much better. Um, <laughs> I am very, very thankful to have a new one. Um, and what's interesting is that they had jacked up my levels because of the report from my old machine and I was trying to tell them that I don't think they need to do that um, because I really didn't feel, there's a number, I don't even know it goes from what to what, but as far as how many um, like occurrences you have or like how many times you have an actual apnea. And apnea is when you like actually stop breathing. A hypopnea is when you have like obstructed breathing. So I think my report was showing I was having like nine apneas a night and that just doesn't seem, it's a lot, that's really high. The number, I think it's your AHI number. Anyway, it was like nine something or whatever when they did the download from my old machine and I, I said well I just don't think that's right but okay um, and so this new machine actually I can look every night to see like in the morning to see what my number was and it was 0.3 so that's like really good that's practically you know nothing so a I think that you know my my um, my old CPAP just wasn't working right um, and B, I think it was like a kind of a mask thing or I, I don't know. All I know is that I was really happy to see that it was only 0.3 this morning because she kind of had me a little bit freaked out yesterday that it was getting worse instead of better. And it had been getting slowly better as the years have gone on. So anyway, um, the point of that ramble is that I'm really happy to have a new um, CPAP machine. Also, this is nothing to do with CPAP. The <laughs> I, um, I get, I've told you guys this before, I get asked a lot like how I organize my day or how I like lots of things about organizing and I'm going to talk to you guys this weekend on one of my videos or do a separate video I haven't really sh I haven't really decided just a few things that I do to keep myself generally organized and I, I will show the planner that I like um I the two planners that I'm going to talk about I paid for myself so it's not one of those oh here go buy this planner because somebody sent it to me free do you know, by the way, can we just have a YouTube moment here? Um, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this. I, I, got, I get offers all the time, and I don't know if you guys know, um, depending on how new you are, but I don't, I don't accept anything right now. I'm not accepting any product for a review. Every, I get, anytime I get an email, I simply say, thank you, but I'm currently not accepting problem, you know, products for review. Best of luck, Kristen. That's just, that's just what I've decided to do for the time being. So, um, but I, I get emails asking me to review stuff. And the, the last, in this last week, I've gotten three or four emails asking me about a product and then saying, name your price for a review or name your price for a positive review. So that's what's going on. I just don't even know what to do with that. I, and when I see what the products are for, and then I, I know people that have done reviews for those products, 
I don't know. It just it makes me sad. It may, that's probably ridiculous and it makes me sad, but it does. And um, the other thing that that is interesting that I don't know if everybody knows is that probably 80% of the time when people are showing things that they were sent for review, it's because, I think I said, told you guys this before, it's because they requested it. They sent an email like to PR or whatever. And I, I know I've told you guys before, I've only done that once, and that was because I really wanted to consult with um, Dr. Schultz with the Beauty RX stuff. And I did like I did like that. I really did like that stuff. I've just found stuff that I've like that I like better since then. But um, you know, when I did that video, that was the first thing I said in that video too. That you know what what kills me is that I, do what you got to do. I completely whatever do you. It, and if you want to contact companies, whatever. But be honest about it. <laughs> I don't know why it's driving me crazy so much lately. But just be honest about it and simply say I can't. You know that I think this is what this is what um, frustrates newer YouTubers that want they don't understand why all these people are getting sent products and they aren't like if they're putting a lot of work into their channel and and that sort of thing. I can remember early on thinking, well, goodness, you know, I, I you know I have the same amount of subscribers as that person and I'm not getting contacted by any of these companies back in the day. Well, um, they weren't either. Whoever that you know they what, that I'm referring to, they were con you know they're emailing PR. Um, people and and you know getting product that way and again that's fine you do what you got to do but I think what what gets me about it is the the dishonesty or you know even even only telling half the truth is just as dishonest as lying in my opinion <laughs> well that was a ramble all right I'm gonna go edit Alrighty then good morning it is Thursday morning and I would like to report in that I think I'm getting sick <laughs> I thought that I staged it off last week, but I don't know. I just kind of feel a little stuffed up, and everybody at work has been sick. I and mean, I've been trying to do everything that I can do to stay healthy, but I don't know. I'm not sure that I. I'm not sure that I fought it off. So, <laughs> I just shot a haul video. Um, I'm trying to just do them once a month now because I'm not buying quite as much as I once did. Um, and I kind of feel like it was a little bit of a train wreck. So, we'll see. I'm going to look at the footage and then see. I don't, did I say what time it is? It's quarter to seven. What's funny is that as I was filming it, I could see that it was light, getting lighter out. And I was like freaking out because I thought that it was late. Okay, freaking out's a little bit. I was not freaking out. But in my head I was thinking, oh, okay, you better wrap this up. And it wasn't even that long of a video. So it wasn't even that long of a video. I'm just looking at the footage that's going to upload here. It's 17 minutes. But a lot of that is... I edit out a lot of my swatching and wiping stuff off. And you guys know. You know how I do. Um, all for today is nothing exciting. So it's just a black, like really thin, slightly dressy hoodie. And... Oh, my tennis shoes. All right. So anyway, I just... Um, and my glasses on today because my eyes aren't having it. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm just not very Christian day. I really hope that this is just like it was last week, like a couple of days of feeling a little bit run down and then normal. Um, we don't have much going on this weekend at all, um, which means that maybe I'll clean something or whatever on Sunday, but organize something, you know. But I have to, um, I don't have to. What I want to do is go to Appleton on Sunday. Saturday. I have some things to return at Sephora. Let me talk to you while I put my shoes on. I have some things to return at Sephora and a couple of things I want to get, of course, because I just filmed a haul. I have things I want to get. But my new thing with hauls now is that I'm going to do them, like I said, just once a month and um, kind of towards the beginning of the month, I guess, like what I got the previous month. I haven't decided. But I'm just not buying as much as I once was. And I also am going to, I'm doing a, I'm going to be doing a clean out of my stash. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing a declutter. I'm just not. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why I don't, but it's just not something I want to do. So I'm going to send a whole bunch of stuff off to my niece. She, you know, what's nice is that with her being in college now, what she doesn't want, she can give to her friends. They can all kind of go through it, and everybody's happy. 
I can't donate to my women's abuse shelter or domestic abuse shelter, I shouldn't say women's, domestic abuse shelter here in town um, unless it's brand new in wrapping. Like even if you buy something that doesn't come in wrapping, they can't take that. It has to be either sealed or wrapped, which I understand, but um, I, I just wish that I, could, I wish that I could donate more to them of stuff that maybe I've swatched once or twice or whatever. I don't know. Some things I might sell. I haven't really decided. I'm not. How do we get on this topic? Anyway. So yeah, I have all the stuff from our from underneath our sink over here. I have it all pulled out because finally we're gonna get the um, leak that's around our. We have a, a Delta Touch 2O faucet, which means that you touch it to turn it on and off. And it's been leaking for quite some time. And so we had the guy look at the plumber look at it when he was out here to put in the new dis. No, garbage disposal. And he said, well, call Delta because it's got a li lifetime warranty. They'll send you the parts for free and then I'll come out and put them in. So we did that. I've had the parts for quite some time. I just had never made the phone call. So yeah, today he's coming to do that. Well, that's about all I have to report today. I uh, would like to be going back to bed, but I think I'm just going to have to go to work anyway. Good morning, everybody. It is 20 to 7. <clears throat> Excuse me, Friday morning. And I don't know how much, I don't know how much footage I got yesterday. I think I, I think there was issues when I was pressing the, the, I just, I don't know, I screwed up yesterday. So I don't know how much footage there is of yesterday, if anything. Um, if there is footage and I said how I wasn't feeling well, I didn't get any sicker, which is nice. I may be swearing by the model Lauren. I'm just, I don't know. Um, I need some socks here. Anyway, I um, went to bed early last night. We had two phone calls, like, later than normal, which woke me up. But um, at any rate, so the point of this discussion is that I don't feel any better, but I don't feel any worse. So that's good. I did, however, sleep in until probably about 5, which is, which is long for me, um, on a, especially on a weekday. On the weekend, I kind of slept it. I'm putting my shoes and socks on. And anyway, so that's why my hair looks like it does. Fuzzy and not really done because I slept in. I chose sleep over doing my hair. Um, and this is a real quick, I just kind of twist my bangs back. Um, I did a video once on how I pin my bangs and this is one of the ways. So, um, today is shopping night, but I told Bob, we made the list yesterday. I will tie my shoes in a minute, don't worry. Um, I made, we made the list last night, the menu and the list, and I told him I would just go after work rather than coming home and getting him. I wanted to get it all done because I was afraid I was going to wake up feeling worse today. So I was trying to pre-plan. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Planning in case you feel worse the next day. So, um, at any rate, I have the Ollie bags and everything in the car and the list and, um, let's see, I need some earrings. So, Yeah. That's what's going to happen. So I don't know how much footage we're going to get tonight. I wish I had pulled out the camera last night because Bob was in full sass mode. So I'm wearing red today because it's Wear Red for Ameri Women's Health Awareness and specifically heart. And one of my good friends at work, her mom passed, you know, about a year and a half ago, two years now, um, from heart-related issues. So I did that. I'm wearing this to um, support her. And it was the only, because I had worn, I forgot that it was going to be this Friday, so I had worn that sweater earlier in the week with the, with the Alex Vitar necklace, and that's what I would have worn, but since I already wore it this week, and it's in the wash, I decided to pull out this. So I'll just, I'll just show you guys. I know the outfits of the day this week haven't been all that exciting, just because I'm not feeling well, I'm sorry. But, um, jeans, tennis shoes, this sweater vest I got at, um, Christopher and Banks, I don't know, a couple years ago, something like that. I don't wear it very often. Black long sleeve t-shirt. Try to kick it up a notch next week for you guys. So, um, oh, on my eyeballs, I'm wearing that NARS duo in I Sold. I Sold. I, I've screwed it up. I know that it's a character in an opera. I remember that much. Beautiful, warm, kind of orangey color. I, I love it. I really love it. On my cheeks, I'm wearing Hot Mama from Benefit. 
And then this lip, what did I do with it? Oh, you, again, you probably can't really see because it's dark out. This lip is in Scandalous. It's from Pure Minerals, one of these glosses. I really like that. So yeah, I need to edit my haul that I filmed yesterday. I was kind of hoping that um, I have two palettes from Cam Cosmetics that I ordered that are coming in, and I was hoping it was going to be here today, but I don't think it'll... I was hoping it was going to be yesterday because I was going to film a quick clip and stick it in there, but it, it didn't. It's probably getting here today, so I'll have to wait till next month. All right, I just had to edit out like the ginormous just yawn of life. Of life. All right, so... I gotta turn this light on. I need light behind me when I'm editing. So I'm going to grab my plug here, plug in my laptop, and edit. So I just want to show you guys the crazy that sometimes takes over me. So this weekend I am baking, I think I mentioned it earlier in the week, I don't know, baking some cookies and some peanut butter ball. Well, I'm baking cookies and I'm making peanut butter balls to send to uh, my friends Bree and Brian who birthdays, you know, that's what I do sometimes for our friends is just bake them something. So anyway. I make, Brian likes cuddle cookies with frosting, so I'm making um, the dough for that. It has to chill for like an hour, but it doesn't matter if it chills longer, so I'm just making it today so that tonight, if I feel like it, I will go ahead and make the cookies. Um, if not, I'll make them tomorrow. It'll be fine. But this way, the dough is done. I'm literally doing this while editing. <laughs> That's dangerous, though. I've done that before, and then I'll go back to rewatch it like for my final watch through. And I, you know, sometimes I'll actually convert it and then do my final watch through and I will have missed something completely. So, yeah, I just thought I would show you. This is the crazy that I feel like, oh, I've got 10 minutes. I can make cookie dough. I mean, why not? Well, it is 540. I'm home from work and doing the grocery shopping. And Bob's going to go pick up us. I just ordered Chinese for us. He's going to go pick that up. Right. Yeah. Yep. And I would like to report that stuff is still out here because for the second day in the row, the plumber didn't come. Yesterday he called. Today he did not call. So I'm not sure what that's about. But I don't particularly appreciate it. What do you have to say, game? <laughs> Look at him. On his phone. What do you have to say for yourself there? Hi. I see you're back in the Wisconsin sweatshirt. See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found these at Aldi. They're really good price too. I think they were maybe $1.99, which is good this time of year. And this was also $1.99, these blueberries. I haven't tasted them yet, but um, yeah, I have some pretty decent prices, I must say. Um, anything else exciting in here? Nothing really too exciting. Got some more dried cranberries for my oatmeal. Yeah, not really a whole heck of a lot to report. I feel yeah. like this is it's going to be a boring end to the vlog since we're not actually going grocery shopping because I already did it on my way home. Right. Which is why he's going to get Chinese. Yes. <laughs> what is with the one word answers? I'm busy. You're busy doing what? Sending a text for finding out why my buddy called, my fishing partner called at 9 o'clock last night. 9.23 right. actually. Right. I was telling them about that this morning. So I asked him today, I'm like, did you find out why Ben called last night at 9 o'clock? And I looked at the caller ID, and it was actually 9.23. So I bought them apples. Um, so yeah, today was not too bad at work, actually. I got caught up on things, which was really, really nice. I have my dough pulled out here. These are really good, by the way. I have my dough pulled out here to... Um, make my cookies. I think I'm going to bake them, cut them out and bake them. I'll start that while he's off getting the Chinese and yeah, that's about it. I'll show you those in a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be some completely random to some of you, <laughs> but um, I've had questions and emails and that sort of thing from other people that have sleep apnea and use CPAPs and that sort of thing and a lot of people, a lot of people, a handful of people have asked what mask I use. I have real kind of claustrophobic issues with things on my face and I've never been able to deal with the ones that were like, you know, all over your face. I've only been able to deal with the ones that they call like air pillows. So 
This is the one I couldn't, I promised a couple of people that when I got my next mask, I would show you guys what it is <laughs> because um, I couldn't remember the name of it. So mine is called the Swift FX Bella and it looks like this. Sorry, that's my oven preheating. So it just goes into my nose there and goes around my ears. I'm not saying it's the most attractive thing in the world, but it's important for me. Um, and somebody else has asked me about sleep apnea or whatever, and there's a lot of causes for sleep apnea. Um, one of it is weight. That's one of the reasons. It can be weight. Um, sometimes it's just the way you are made. For me, I can't remember if I said this or not, but anyway, my soft palate is larger than it should be. And then it, so when I sleep and it relaxes, then it blocks off my airway, thus stopping me from breathing. So, um, and I've had it, I've had sleep apnea, I mean, forever. We just, it just wasn't diagnosed until long after. Anyway, so there is a surgery that I could get. I looked into it back when they first diagnosed it, but they would, ha I am so scared because you guys know that I'm a singer. I'm really scared to have lasers anywhere near anything that would have to do with my voice and your soft palate has a lot to do with your voice. So that's why I choose, I chose to just use the CPAP and not have the surgery. But anyway, so the Swift FX Bella for her is the one that I use. 6.42. Bob is not back yet. My cookies are already done, cut out. First batch is out of the oven. Second batch is in the oven. Feeling pretty good about life right now. I was going to show you guys this. This is one of my little kitchen tricks here. Do you have these from every Pampered Chef, Pampered Chef Stone that you bought? This is how I clean up after. Gets all the little pieces out. It makes it easier. Pieces up, I should say. It makes it easier to clean. Mm-hmm. Lies 617, not 642. That's how many minutes were left on the timer. <laughs> so these are the cookies that are done. I just did circles. Um, oops. Yeah, those are the ones that are done. Then the other ones are in the oven. Well, it is about 710. We are apparently watching Dukes of Hazard for the, I don't know, 842nd time. Twice, maybe. <clears throat> oh, I can't even tell you how many times. Actually, we're going to watch Blacklist from last night. And I'm going to paint my nails, and that's going to be that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a really great week. And this one has to work tomorrow. Yep. Don't you? That we're exciting this weekend. Yeah, we, we are. had a lot going on last weekend. We did have a lot going on last weekend. We don't have a lot going on this weekend. But anyway, sorry for the loudness. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.